Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 9 talking about the various methods and techniques for testing AI based systems and today we'll be continuing ahead with our next segment which is 9.6 experience based testing of AI based systems. So if you quickly recall some of the fundamental concepts what we covered in ISTQB foundation level, we do remember experience-based test techniques are the techniques which certainly depends on the past experience of uh, the tester at the same time having domain knowledge and having understanding of typical defects what we would have got in past of the similar applications. And all these techniques are pretty much applicable at AI based system as well, but with a blend of understanding of the domain that is what is AI based system. So of course, conventional systems are certainly different compared to AI based systems. So the context of the technique remains the same, but the domain of course varies. So that's one of the parameter also. If you remember, we do have a basis as domain knowledge because domains are different and you should have experience on that respective domain. So experience based testing certainly includes uh, error guessing, exploratory testing and checklist based testing, all of which can be applied to the testing of AI based systems as well. So talking about the first one error guessing, of course, is typically based on the tester's knowledge, typical developer errors and failures in similar system or previous versions of that. An example of error guessing applied to AI based system could be use of knowledge about how the ML systems have been in the past or failed due to the use of systematically biased training data. So I was just talking about the similar thing that you have a technique which is well defined but it gets blended with the context of um, the AI based systems and then the past experience here will not be about conventional systems rather it will be more from how an AI based system works and at the same time what is ML models behavior when we talk about different bias training data etc. So the flavor will be certainly included in these experience based techniques and the experience will be completely about the system which you are testing. So you cannot tell me that if you know if I've been testing banking application for 10 years, can I join an AI industry and say that I can apply experience based testing? Answer is absolutely no. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one is inexploratory testing. Tests are designed, generated and executed in an iterative manner with the opportunity for later tests to be delivered based on the test results of earlier tests. Now this one line tells you something very unique about this technique being followed in AI based systems. One, that it is being performed back to back in different iterations, which means different test sessions of exploratory testing. And at the same time, here also the high level test can be dynamically created, executed, and certainly being, you know, monitored with respect to what is the outcome of each. Plus, the additional thing what they're trying to tell you that in AI based systems, we look forward to use the earlier executed tests as a basis to define the new set of tests because that becomes your reference because of course when it comes to exploratory testing the specification is one of the key parameter which is seen as a challenge but that's where we go with these techniques right why a tester's experience matter to me in order to test a system because i don't have all the specification all the requirements all the information what i really need in order to test the system right so that's the oracle problem so exploratory testing is especially useful when there are poor specification or test oracle problems which is often the case for ai based system and that's where it is helpful so as a result exploratory testing is often used in this context and should be used to supplement the more systematic testing based on the techniques such as metamorphic testing so it can be combined together it can be blended together so we can just supplement the metamorphic so for example conduct a round of metamorphic testing and then top out, top it up with uh, a round of experience base or few rounds of experience base which will give you a completely uh, end to end completeness and coverage and confidence what you need so exploratory testing is one among them which can be generally also in conventional application also it can be used as a top up execution now in tour of the uh, metaphor uh, used for a set of strategies and goals for a tester to refer 
to when they perform exploratory testing organized around a spatial focus. Typically, the tours for the exploratory testing of an AI-based system might focus on the concepts of bias, underdrifting, and overfitting, underfitting and overfitting in ML systems. For example, a data tour might be applied <clears throat> to test the model. In this tour, the tester could identify different types of data used for training, their distribution, their variations, their format and ranges, etc., and then use the data types to test the model. Now, that's one among the unique types of specialized techniques called as tours. Now, tours is basically a technique where we literally take a tour. So in mobile application testing, also we have this technique called as tour. And here we actually take the mobile application in a device and travel across the city at different locations to find out the blind spots or see where exactly the network coverage is poor and how exactly my system reverts back to it as soon as we gain it. So we call it as blind spot, right? So that tour is what certainly we take. So same way here, tour is basically a metaphor used for set of strategies. And here we look forward to uh, identify the set of data and uh, helps you to determine what kind of people are looking forward to have the input data or what certain input data can be used for your system. And here again, it's more of like not traveling precisely, but interacting with more and more people to understand how exactly the different set of data, the variations, the format, the ranges can be, you know, significantly different from each other and what my system would behave in order to do that. So we try with different set of information and try to, you know, respond or check the execution outcomes of these variations and that's how it works. All right, so similarly, uh, we just got covered with three different techniques, uh, which was like two of them are similar and one is unique like tour. And now coming back to the checklist. So we let's see how exactly the checklist works for the AI based system. So we have checklist based testing is as one of the uh, technique also as experience based testing. And we just want to understand what is the checklist we have for AI based systems testing. So Google has set a set of off set up of 28 ML tests written as assertions in the areas of data, model development, infrastructure, and monitoring, which is used as testing checklist within Google for ML models or ML systems. Now, that certainly is one of the examples to be given to you because it's been used in the Google, Google, but if you want to use this not something which is restricted to Google, right? It's not copyrighted. If the information is available here, any industry is free to make use of this as a reference or basis and come up with their own set of checklists too, depending on their type of product. But they can even use this information as one of the reference checklists to go ahead and apply this on their AI-based systems. So the Google ML test checklist is presented here as published by Google. So number one is uh, for the respect to ML data. We have features expectations are captured in a schema. All features are beneficial. No features cost is too much. Features adhere to meta level requirements. The data pipeline has appropriate privacy control. New features can be added quickly. All input features code is tested. So if you see all these are very, very generic items which can be applied to any independent AI based systems. And we can ask these questions to your product or you can ask this question to your ML model saying that, hey, are you really fulfilling all these points or not? And checklists are more about uh, the you know, verification of or validation of things which are supposed to happen at the product level. So dynamically, we are interacting with the system and testing it, but we don't write test cases, rather we do have these type of questions. All we need to do is we just have to answer yes or no. If it is yes, it is okay. If it is no, that's where the problem is, right? So one way it is a gate check, which you perform in order to say it is all good. So I have the I button on the top. If in case you forgot about checklist based testing, you can quickly you know go ahead and watch that video as well to find out more about it. On the same line, the next one is model development. So model specs are reviewed and submitted. Offline and online matrix correlate. All hyperparameters have been tuned. The impact of model staleness is known. A simpler model is not better. Like if it is simple, 
is it better or not, right? <laughs> the, the way they write is slightly different. So a simple model is enough for the expectation or not. So we are saying a simple model is not better. So if you need to add something more to make it to the expectations, you should do that. Model quality is sufficiently on important data slices. The data is tested for consideration of all inclusions. So we look forward to answer from the development point of view, all the information related to this. Well, moving on to the next one is of course the ML infrastructure. So training is reproducible, model specs are unit tested, the ML pipeline is integration tested, model quality is validated before serving, the model is debuggable, which means it can be debugged when required. Models are can read before serving. Serving models can be rolled back uh, are one of the parameters for the checklist, what we really need. And uh, these can be included as a part of the checklist for the infrastructure. Similarly, we have for monitoring test as well. So this is particularly for the testing side. So dependency changes result in notification. So if you have any kind of changes related to dependency, then it should result into the right notification available. Data invariants hold for inputs. Training and serving are not skewed. Uh, models are not too stale. Models are numeric stable, numerically stable. Computing performance has not regressed, which is side effects. And prediction quality has not regressed as well. So regressed basically goes in line with regressions, which are like adverse effect of a change. So put together, these are all the checklist items, what we really have from uh, the Google, which we can use as one of the template checklists to be used in our AIB system as well. And certainly would be very helpful to determine uh, performing, determining and performing the experience based testing on our AIB systems. So put together, these are the four things what you need to know from the experience based testing techniques. Of course, so we do have the basics error guessing, exploratory testing, checklist based testing, and one additional one which is tour and which is completely unique for AI based system. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.